Toxoplasma gondii is the protozoan parasite that infects most species of warm-blooded animals, including humans, and causes toxoplasmosis. Besides pregnant women and infants, AIDS patients and organ transplant recipients are also vulnerable to this virus. The most common manifestations of congenital toxoplasmosis include chorioretinitis, hydrocephalus, and intracranial calcifications. Some babies with congenital toxoplasmosis may exhibit multiple purple-blue marks in the skin. The diagnosis of toxoplasma infection can be divided into prenatal diagnosis and postnatal diagnosis. Prenatal diagnosis is based on ultrasonographic signs of a congenital infection and then confirmed by PCR testing of the amniotic fluid. Postnatal diagnosis evaluation begins with a complete clinical examination and continues with serologic tests performed as soon as possible after birth, which consist of toxoplasma IgG and IgM tests. Actually, besides after birth, it is important that pregnant women take serologic tests in every phase from pre-pregnancy to giving birth. Women who are planning to get pregnant are supposed to take serologic tests. Those diagnosed with an acute toxoplasma gondii infection should be counseled to wait before attempting to become pregnant. If a woman has a negative maternal serology during pregnancy, she must be informed of measures to prevent toxoplasma gondii infection and the sequential serological follow-up. Toxo IgM and IgG test results can be used to indicate the gestational age at the time of maternal infection and further estimate the risk and severity of fetal damage.